Uh, greetings, friends. Uh, this is a very brief introduction to the course and to the topic of emotions and why they are so important for us to consider. As you probably already know, and no one needs to tell you that emotions are probably one of the strongest forces that we know. Uh, the scripture says that they are so strong, as a matter of fact, that the person who can control his own heart is better or greater than the person that can take a walled city. Oftentimes we know we feel something, we feel it strongly, maybe we don't want to feel that way anymore. We find ourselves having a very difficult time dealing with that emotion. They take us into areas that we might not want to go, or they push us into areas where we might want to resist. Um, but the same token, sometimes they help fuel us towards achieving a very legitimate goals and help to inspire lifelong orientations that we have and purposes that we want to pursue and goals that we want to achieve. So the purpose of this course is to try and get a handle on all of that and try and think through what are at the root of these powerful forces within our personality. Uh, the psalmist um, encourages us to engage in a deep investigation of emotions. David, for instance, writes, I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me when I was in distress. I sought the Lord. That night I stretched out untiring hands, and my soul refused to be comforted. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. My heart mused and my spirit inquired. And um, this passage, which we'll take a closer look at later on in the course, is centered or focused around David confronting a very difficult or troubling emotion. And he didn't want to let that emotion just lie there without him understanding it or without him being able to deal with it. So you can see he was deeply involved and deeply engaged with God at trying to come to terms with what was lying at the heart of, of, uh, of how deeply he felt about something. So why do we study emotions? Well, in one way, we are often betrayed by our emotions. They lead us towards that which doesn't satisfy, or they are lacking in areas or moving us towards um, towards things that would satisfy or people that would satisfy us or events or careers or pursuits that are entirely worthwhile, but where are our emotions? How come they're not cooperating with us and helping us achieve what we want to achieve? Or why are they getting in the way of us being able to achieve the kinds of things that we do or leading us towards areas that we don't want to go or we don't want to go? So we're going to study emotions to be able to get at the heart of it. Um, sometimes we have no emotion. Uh, we're listless and we're feeling kind of dull and unmotivated or unengaged and uninvolved. We want to take a look and see why is that the case? Why aren't our emotions more engaged in the tasks that lie in front of us? Or as we said, sometimes they actually control us in ways that we don't want to be controlled and we want to be able to get a handle on all of that. So in this course, <clears throat> what we really are trying to do is answer these very fundamental kinds of questions. First, why did God create us with emotions and what purposes do they serve? How to deal with negative emotions and then how best to put positive emotions or what we consider to be productive emotions to, uh, to good use. With that in mind, I'm just going to lay out some very simple and fundamental um, uh, thoughts about emotions and these are you know, at the foundation of the orientation that we will take in this course about, about emotions. First of all, I really do believe that emotions are greatly misunderstood and that that misunderstanding has caused us to miss the, the true benefits of having emotions in our lives. I believe that emotions are very intelligent. There's a design, a purpose to them. And that they are designed, I believe, to lead us to a deep and rich and satisfying life which is authentically connected to God, his creation, and his community, and a, and, and a community around us. Emotions will reveal what we truly believe, what we truly value, and what we design to have occur in our lives. And then emotions help us discover what is of true worth in life. So with that in mind, that's a very brief introduction to where we're heading and why we're heading that direction. Uh, this course, we're going to be using this format a lot. I'm going to be able to uh, introduce some of the, the work that I've done on, on, uh, on emotions and how they fit into our lives. And hopefully you'll find these videos helpful in providing an outline for our thinking together.